Music lovers and welcome once again to the Woodshed. This week's episode of the Woodshed is brought to you by the fine folks at American Musical Supply. So I've been getting tons of requests about what gear I use. I'm going to walk you through everything in the studio from the camera to the audio interface to the amp switchers and all that good stuff. So sit back and relax. Let's get real nerdy with some gear stuff. Roll it. <laughs> So before we jump into the video, I wanted to let you know that the Woodshed Guitar Experience registration is live. You can sign up and spend three days in lovely Lake Francis, Tennessee with Robin Ford, Brent Mason, Mark Letary, Andy Timmons, Greg Cock, myself, and some special guests that I've not even announced yet. So hit that link for woodshedguitarexperience.com. I'll put it right there at the bottom of the description. All right, now on into the video, what I decided to do is just take the camera around the entire studio, starting back here with the guitars on the wall and going through the amps and telling you about how we work our way around the room all the way to the camera that I'm talking to you on and what audio interface I use, monitors, SM7s, microphones, Apollos, all that good stuff. Let's just take a deep dive into the gear. All right, guys, this is the stuff that you normally see. Obviously a lovely array, various items, signature model, Iron Man colors, the first signature model right there, boop. PRS that my mom got me when I was a 21 year old and then the signature model and the Collings and the other signature model. You can tell which gets the most use in the studio. And then a modern with a gorgeous top that I keep in drop D and then a modern that I keep in standard. This red one is actually just a beast guitar. And it's uh, probably one of my favorite sounding moderns. It might be my favorite modern that I have. And then we've got the classic in Mopar orange with a picture of Eddie Van Halen. And then of course you guys always see the amps. Now I've done something, been working on something this week with the KHE amp switcher. And if you notice, every amp is plugged in and we've labeled amp input eight. And then if you look on the back, we'll have amp output eight. I'll get to that in just a second as we make our way around the room. This is my main array of amps. The Bella, I use all the time, use it all the time. Uh, Bogner Shiva, Diesel Herbert, the little Rev D series amp, the Sir Hedgehog, which is really cool. The Sir Reactive Load, this usually goes out with me live. That's why it stays up here and it's not permanently in the patch bay. It's usually a live item. The EVH, all the cabs, that's a diesel cab that I took the logo off of just so it would be universally, uh, it'd look nice aesthetically with any amp that I play. And then as we go around the room, we have my vintage 1963 Deluxe Reverb. Yes, that's an original, which is awesome. The Synergy Rig, and the Mesa Lone Star. I got the Mesa Lone Star. It's such a smoking deal. I had to buy it. Uh, the Eddie Van Halen guitar and the Lime Green Frost. Uh, my pedal board, which usually stays out um, just to where I can tweak on it and work on it. As we go around, you see my iPad in the floor. And then you see this uh, UA modulation, the Astra. And then my baby board. Okay, as we roll in, let's follow this cable and this is what I've been working on. This is the KHE amp switcher. It also switches all of the cabinets. 
So here's all eight amps hooked up. And then here's on one, we've got the universal audio aux. And the other three are the three are three of the cabinets that were against the wall. Specifically, the cabinets are the, this is cabinet two, this is cabinet three, and that's cabinet four. So with the flick of a button, I can put any head on any cabinet. And what's really sweet about this is it's got a safety precaution built in. Um, the lights will blink, telling you that there's, the amp is not uh, hooked up to a load. But this provides a load. It provides an 8-ohm impedance load to the amps to uh, as a safety precaution. It's completely silent. Um, wiring it up was an uh, incredible, incredible feat. And so labeling everything is was very important. So all the amp ends across the top, the speakers from the amps across the bottom, and the cabinets on the far right. Shout out to my guitar tech, John Cooper, for helping me wire it up. It's really killer. And then I just plug in the front here. So the reason we haven't racked it yet is I'm actually going to get another Furman power unit and uh, probably another rack drawer. Okay, on to the rig. Let's just scroll up. And here, here's what's going to happen. You're going to see a messy workstation, right? So we've got Iron Man back there with the Eddie Van Halen guitar. And these are these newer lights. I've, I've been using those uh, across the desk. A messy workstation means that I'm actually doing stuff. When this is clean, nothing is getting done. There's no music being made. If everything is spotless, I'm not working. So let's just start on this side over here. Um, what we've got is the UA uh, Apollo 8. This is where my microphone goes into the Fractal Axe FX3, um, the UA Aux, which is just tucked back here. Like I, I have it back there. Um, the reason is, is I can just reach back there and flip the cabinets on a dial. Um, but I actually run the software most of the time anyways. So the U, the, if I want to run into the Axe FX, boom, right there it is. Plugged in and it goes into the back of the UA. My SM7 that I use for streams, which is right here, um, it stays plugged in all the time. A little Furman power for this side. And uh, yeah, it's really simple. Um, you also see that I've got a FM3 and you're probably rolling your eyes. Like, why do you need this if you've got this? Well, this is for live. So this is being programmed right now. That's why the cables are just haphazardly strung around. This is being programmed right now for live. So I've got X, uh, X Specs, uh, X Edit right here. And I'm going through and double checking everything to make sure I've got settings that I like. Also, I've got the brand new Sir Discovery staying up here. And as we go down, this little board um, is cool for clinics. I'm actually gonna take it to the John Petrucci um, clinic that we're doing. And it's great, the two UA pedals. Obviously you can tell I'm a huge Universal Audio fan. Um, and then my woodshed comp and the gearbox. It's just really that simple. Um, and this, a lot of times I will run this little board into the front of the KHE. Uh, or that's the idea. I haven't had the KHE very long. But uh, I run that board into that so I can have that, say, in front of the Deluxe or the Mesa Boogie or the Bella, right? So uh, let's talk about the video side of things. It all happens at this Sony... Uh, Alpha 6400, um, got it at the end of last year and I got it with the, uh, Atomos, which is this unit right here. I use this as a monitor. Like I can set up the Atomos. I can sit back here in my position and then have the Atomos as a monitor, get my shot that I like. And I've been using this shot so you guys can see the right hand. Got a little webcam, just a little, that little guy that I use for, um, for live streams and whatnot. Of course, I've got an Xbox. <laughs> you have to have that. And some candles because I like things to smell good. Like I said, these lights are really cool because I can control the lighting from uh, a Bluetooth app. It's really, really cool. So I, I, I dig that. And my setup, I know it looks crazy, but it's really kind of intuitive and it's super simple. Um, when I am wanting to do anything. I have a virtual console that I just pull up right there. You can see the, uh, that's the SM7 uh, that's kind of bouncing around over here. 
And then uh, the, the channels that are linked, that are uh, linked up like this right here. Boop, let's just chime in there. So that right there is like the Axe Effects, and then the other one's the uh, Aux. But yeah, this is the setup, and this is kind of Mission Control. Um, really simple. I take the, cor the card out of here, drop it into the back of the iMac, and edit it down. Of course, there's hard drives um, everywhere. But this KHE unit and the Apollo 8 are driving the car. So big shout out. Here's the time to appreciate the folks that helped make this happen. Uh, shout out to my family over at American Music Supply. Um, they helped me uh, kind of choose and, and provide what I needed to uh, improve the sound and the audio for you guys um, with the UA and the SM7 and the Boom. Really killer. The next move is to upgrade from the Kirks. Uh, I've had these KRKs for a long time. I know there's probably a lot of like gear snobs that are probably rolling their eyes at them because they're the inexpensive ones, but I've had them for so long, I'm really dialed into the way they sound. Uh, the other small details that I always have are blue chip picks. Um, I have a little to-go container over here. It's got my Diodario picks. So the Diodario Black Ice is a pick that I like because uh, it feels good and it's not super, super expensive. These are, you know, 50 cent or something like that versus the blue chips, which I use predominantly in the studio because they are super expensive. It's like a $30 pick. I know you're probably saying, what would make a pick cost $30? Bluegrassers know that when you play on an acoustic instrument, the pick affects your tone so much and these things last forever and they sound amazing. So I actually keep these in the studio and use these for any kind of acoustic instruments and things like that. Uh, metronome, you gotta have it so you can stay in time. The little Audio-Technica headphones and then I run out of the headphones out here if I ever need to track acoustics. A little pedal drawer or a little you know gear drawer. And the rest of the room that goes over behind us is actually just kind of in disarray right now. Um, let's swing around. So we've got, I've been working on a record and uh, yeah, it's just kind of a mess over there. Trash can and various items. So the, it's just a mess. So, so that's what we've got. And that's how I, uh, that's my walkthrough. Yeah. All right. Thanks for hanging out here in the woodshed this week. As always, if you're looking for purchase on lessons, tones, backing tracks, transcriptions, if you want to book me for a live show, hit andywoodmusic.com. If you're looking for exclusive content, we're talking behind the scenes, over 200 exclusive videos, a weekly Zoom masterclass, access to our private Discord server. All of that can be found at patreon.com slash andywoodmusic. It's a great community. We've got some really incredible players over there, and I'm constantly posting exclusive videos that can only be seen if you're a member over at Patreon. So jump over to patreon.com slash andywoodmusic. Thank you for hanging out this week in the woodshed, and we'll see you next week.